Wong and you're watching Debbie Wong's Walk and Gong. So it's two days before payday, flat broke. I think I have $3.55 in my wallet exactly right now. Um, so I thought I would do the open up the fridge and see what I got and make something out of that thing tonight. I have kale. We all love kale. It's very trendy these days. And I also have a can of chickpeas that's been staring at me for weeks. So I thought I would make a chickpea and kale curry. Curry's always a good bet when you're trying to clean up the fridge because it involves a lot of spices. Spices don't go bad. Well, they do go bad, but you know what I'm saying, they last forever. In your cabinet, so you can do whatever you got in the fridge, plus curry, and bam, you got yourself a dinner. So my curry is gonna begin with a super punchy, exciting curry paste that I'm gonna make with one of my best friends in the kitchen. Derived from a species of giant fennel, asafoetida has a unique smell and flavor. It is called for often in Indian cooking. When cooked, it produces a flavor similar to onion and garlic. tablespoons and it's dancing which means it's hot over here I have a whole onion and three cloves of garlic food processed feeling a little bit uh, quick and easy today you know what I mean so basically the onions have shrunk down to half their volume and have deepened in color this is exactly what we want also their fragrance has permeated the entire house Smells like a curry house up in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bollywood dance and curry room up in here. So, it is time to add the curry paste that we so lovingly produced about a minute ago. So remember, we have all these spices in the curry. We've got the cumin, we've got the coriander, we've got the cayenne, asafoetida, all that good stuff in there. And those spices, they need to be cooked. They need to be cooked so that they can like open up and permeate. So onions have been cooking about seven minutes. Now it's time to add the tomatoes. Here I have two medium tomatoes and a tablespoon of tomato paste that I just food processed once again. And I'm gonna add it to the onion mixture. And my instincts tell me that I need a little bit of liquid to make it more saucy. So I'm gonna add some chicken stock. Mm, that looks like a sauce to me, what you think? Hot damn. Okay, I have some cooked chickpeas over here. This is about one can. So I'm gonna let the chickpeas go for about eight minutes or so. Let them absorb some of that nice curry flavor, let them warm through. As you can see, the curry has already deepened in color once more. It looks like a chana masala right now. I'm very proud of myself. So now I'm gonna add the kale. Over here I have about uh, half a bunch of kale that I have removed from the stalks and torn into pieces about this big. In it goes. Now it's gonna wilt down, so don't, don't freak out. So don't worry if it appears a little bit dry at the moment. The kale is gonna release a little bit of liquid. So we're not gonna judge until it's all wilted. That looks so good. One swirl. So once the kale has had about three minutes or so, it's nicely wilted, bright, vibrant green. I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of coconut cream and coconut milk. So the cream is what's on top, solid stuff. About that much. 
And I'm just going to pour out a little bit of the milk or the juice. Give it a few swirls. Mix it in. Three more minutes, we got dinner. Okay, here we go. I'm about to take my first taste of this dish that I've never made in my life. Let's check it out. Very tangy. So here it is. Chickpea kale curry over brown rice. Tops it off with a little bit of chopped cilantro like I always do with my curries. Pretty damn good. So the next time you guys are broke, flat on your ass, I encourage you to look inside your fridge and be like, wow, I still got some food in here. And I encourage you to make up a curry in a hurry. exciting curry paste that I'm gonna make. <laughs> Excuse me. Run out of air. We're getting a little bit improvisational. We're getting a little bit experimental. Curry is always a good thing because I have spices that last forever and ever in my fridge. Not in my fridge. I don't keep my spices in my fridge. Cut that. 